in this tutorial we will learn about lofted bend and how to create transition piece and cone right now lofted bend command is not active to make it active at first we will have to create some sketches for that click on this sketch then click on sketch then select this top plane then I will create one center rectangle then give the required dimension using smart dimension then for lofted bend the corners needs to be smooth for that apply sketch fillets then give the radius and select the edges then ok ok for lofted bend sketch needs to be open it will not work with close sketch to make the sketch open here we will make one break for that select one center line then click on this offset entities then give the offset distance of 0.5 then select this bidirectional we want it on both side click on ok then select this line control this line and make it construction line for construction ok then trim this portion click on trim entities then remove this portion then click on ok ok then zoom fit for transition piece we will need one more plane click on this feature then click on reference geometry click on this plane then click here and select top plane and give the gap gap of 50 ok then create one more sketch on this plane one click on sketch sketch select this surface make it normal normal to then create one circle there then we will need to trim this circle also for that we will project this center lines click on this convert entities and select these two lines then ok then again select these two lines press control and select the object and click on for construction ok then again trim entities remove this portion and ok then again ok then hide this plane one click on it and click on this hide and click on sheet metal now this lofted bend is activated and click on this lofted bend select this sketch select this sketch then give the thickness I want it one and from here you can reverse the direction for thickness whether you want it outside or inside click on ok same way you can use this lofted bend command for creation of cone for that we will start new part ok then again we will create a sketch click on sketch then select this top plane and create one circle give the dimension 150 diameter then again we will have to break the circle for that we will create one center line center line from here to here again offset it offset entities give the gap of 0.5 then click on ok then select these two lines press control during selection and click on this for construction ok then trim it trim entities then ok zoom fit again ok then create one more plane click on this feature reference geometry plane then click here and select the top plane give the gap of 70 ok then click on sketch again click on sketch select this plane make it normal to and create one circle give the dimension suppose it is 25 again project this line for trim click on this convert entity select this line this line ok select this line control this line and select this for construction ok then trim it trim entities remove this portion ok ok zoom fit orbit it click on this plane one 
and hide then click on sheet metal select this locked band select this first sketch select this second sketch then give the thickness give the number of band lines you want choose the direction and click on ok now if we flatten it in this way you can flatten the cone also that's all thanks for watching we will stop here